So what we're going to talk about is using this tool, Still Life, as our first sketchbook project. And it's an observation drawing. Part of becoming a good, not even just artist, but um, person in general is learning to observe things. And so this goes further beyond just art skills. This is observing things around us, but it also helps us as an artist. So as a sixth grader, I am going to try to give you as much option as we possibly can. And so you have the option of doing the tools like the hammer, the wrench, the, um, the nut and bolt. Um, or you can do the art tools, where it's masking tape, a clay tool, a sharpener, and an ink bottle. It's up to you. But now, hey, you don't have to do both. Are eyes up on the screen, please? Again, I'm, I'm hoping I don't have anybody do this, but I'm afraid one of you is going to say, i got to draw both of these. No, you're only drawing one. So choose your favorite one of these two. Now, any time we start, and I'm going to put this up here so you probably won't see it on the video as much, um, but and these are also taped to your plexiglass if you haven't noticed already, and if they're starting to come down, I will come around and retape them. Please don't touch them, though. Okay, there is a front and back so they can be seen. Okay, so any time you start an observation drawing, I'm going to say again, do not touch. Thank you. You want to start with a very quick placement sketch. And you're going to start with very simple shapes when you do this placement sketch. Now, we're also going to be drawing these as large as possible. Okay, ladies, gentlemen, part of your grade on this is going to be based on placement and proportion. And if you look at this tool one where we have the hammer and wrench, the hammer is the biggest thing in this. So in your drawing, it's going to be the what? The biggest. biggest thing. It's going to go at an angle. So these are all the observation things that we are going to um, be thinking about. In fact, this hammer, I know that it's going to be at least this big. And so I'm going to do a real quick sketch. And your eyes should be up on the screen. I'm going to do very, very quick placement and say, okay, this is going to be a long rectangle. Can you guys see that on the screen? Yeah. All right, I'm going to start with, that might have actually been just a little too big. I'm going to start with an oval for the top of the hammer. All right. I'm going to go with the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the wrench is a circular shape right here and it overlaps the hammer. And again, it's a rectangle shape right here. So it's about right there for placement. I've got the needle nose pliers right here. And I think right now I'm just going to leave it like this just so I can kind of get this quick part done. So I'm going to leave it like that. Then we got the nut and the bolt right here. So this is a circle. I've got a little circle right here, and then it is basically a rectangle that goes through them. Okay, very quick sketch. This will take you, no, 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 just listen, we're not done yet. This is going to take you maybe 45 seconds to a minute and a half to get this done. The rest of the placement time is now saying, okay, now I've got to do some detail work because I know my hammer's in the right place, but now I've got to actually put some details in to make it look like a hammer. So I might even start saying, okay, I've got the body part right here. Guys, this is why we work in pencils because we have to do some erasing. Even a teacher, an art teacher who's been working for years does a lot of erasing. So at this point, I'm saying, okay, now, how do I make this look more like a hammer? Well, i got to round it right here. I like the width of it, so I'll leave that. I've got the wrench here, so I've got to make the inside area right here. And you guys get the point, right? Yeah. All right, so we come in and we start detailing the different parts after we have our quick part done. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, you, again, you guys are not doing both of these. I need all eyes up on the board. Is I'm going to do a very same thing with if I'm doing the art one. Very quick placement sketch. Here's the tape. Here is the ink bottle that is not quite as tall as the tape. So I'm just going to do real quick blocking it in. How long did I say this is supposed to take me? 45 seconds to a minute. Yeah. 45 seconds to maybe a minute and a half. So I've got a long rectangle thing right here for this clay tool. Maybe a little triangle on the end of it. All right, then I have this weird sharpener angle, okay? It is in a little bit of what we call um, one-point perspective. So it's going to look something like that, OK? 
Okay? This is my very quick sketch. I probably would have gone just a little faster if I had not been talking. But once I get this placement sketch done, then I'm going to start coming in and saying, okay, I've got to make the, um, the 3D approach to this, and I've got to make that, ooh, that ink bottle's got a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Okay? What I would also recommend you do once you get the placement is do your shadows. So you, are again, are doing the art tools or you're doing the, we'll call them, construction tools. Notice how much space it takes up. And we're working on our very first drawing page. All right, that being